What are my top 10 tarot decks of 2023? I'm Ellen LeFay, and today I'll be revealing the decks that have earned a spot on my reading table. Join me to get a glimpse of what these decks have to offer. Curious to see which one will claim the coveted number one spot? Stick around as I reveal each exceptional deck. You can find links to purchase these decks and to book a reading with me in the description below. Please note that some, though not all, are affiliate links. Using the affiliate links empowers this channel to acquire new decks for us to explore together. Thank you for your support. I'm also excited to let you know that I have a mystery deck giveaway on the horizon. What's the mystery deck, you ask? Well, keep your eyes peeled because I'll be revealing it in this countdown. Now, it's important to mention that, for logistical reasons, this giveaway is limited to shipping within the USA. However, I'm exploring ways to expand future giveaways and make them more accessible worldwide. Your understanding is greatly appreciated. To enter the giveaway, simply do these three things. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and drop a comment below. The full details of the giveaway will be revealed in an upcoming video. The lucky winner will also be announced in a future video, so make sure you have your notifications turned on to stay in the loop. Now, without further ado, let's unveil my favorite decks of 2023. Please note that I'm only including decks that were released in 2023. Starting with number 10, I reserved this spot for decks that came out in 2023 as mass market versions, but that I only own indie versions of, so can't advise you on the quality of the mass market versions. This also means I can't fairly assign an order to them in this countdown. But the fact that I purchased the indie versions of these decks shows you just how much I love them. In fact, I'm pretty confident that if I did own the mass market versions, they would rank quite high in this countdown. Starting off with the Rosebud Tarot. The Rosebud Tarot is by Diana Rose Harper and Amanda Lee Stilwell. Diana is what I would describe as a profound writer and speaker, as well as a brilliant astrologer. You can hear her in this month's, which is April, Astrology Podcast, which is a podcast, but also available on YouTube. She is also a keynote speaker at this year's Northwest Astrological Conference. So the version I have, of course, is going to look different than the Wiser Books version. The box, uh, the guidebook, and cardstock are going to be different, but the images should be the same. Maybe they change some of the font. So here's my version, keep that in mind, okay. Uh, small guidebook, I assume it changes a little bit with wiser books. This goes over majors only, only definitions for that, it doesn't include upright and reversed, but as mentioned, uh, Diane is a wonderful writer and in here she gives great, I guess I would call it poetry, that relates to the cards, which are, is a really new approach to this and it's quite powerful I would say anyway so I've really had a good time reading with this deck and had some profound readings with it as well so I'll show you some of the cards okay so first I want to point out that we have some name changes this is a perfect example now these are shuffled so it's kind of funny that we have the Fool right here, but the Fool becomes the Youth, High Priestess becomes the Witch, the Empress becomes the Life Giver, the Hierophant becomes the Professor, Temperance becomes Alchemy, Judgment becomes Emergence. And then also we'll see, here we go, perfect example, Curiosity of Fire. So we have court cards are changed, Pages become Curiosity. Knights become Velocity, Queens become Generosity, Kings become Sovereignty, and then Pentacles become Earth, Cups become Water, Wands become Fire, 
swords become air. So we have the elements here instead. But on this version, I love the, the card stock. So it's unfortunate I can't really tell you what the mass market version is like, but just look at this beautiful art and the beautiful writing in it. Okay, we're not doing a full flip through, so just gonna give you a sneak peek here to get an idea of what you're gonna find in this beautiful deck. Look at that, the life giver. There we go, so yeah, the empress, the life giver. Ace of Fire, Sovereignty of Earth, the Witch, I love that. High Priestess is the Witch, beautiful. Okay, so there's a sampling of this gorgeous deck. Next up we have the Unfolding Path Tarot by Athene Noctua. As mentioned, I own the indie version, so I'm not showing you the box or guidebook because I understand it will be different for the mass market. Hay House actually picked up this gorgeous deck. So here, I'll just give you an idea of some of the artwork that you can expect in this beautiful deck. As you can see, it's watercolor, which is incredibly difficult to work with and I have so much respect for those that are willing to and have mastered watercolor. Beautiful. So that is a glimpse of the Unfolding Path Tarot. And the final in our 10th spot roundup of mass market release decks that I only own indie versions of is This Might Hurt Tarot. This Might Hurt Tarot deck is by Isabella Rotman. The mass market version is by Sterling Ethos. And as mentioned, I only own the indie version, so I'm not showing you the box or guidebook because yours will be different. And I'm very tempted to show you the gilding on these, but once again, I know that the mass market version probably isn't going to have it, though it is gorgeous. Look at that. Such beautiful artwork. This reads very well too. Obviously, Rider Waite Smith based. Just fun. Okay, I think you have an idea of this deck here. Time to move on to our next set. Okay, moving on to spot number nine. Now, this is where we get into the decks that I do own the complete versions of so I can rank and show you. So number nine is the Sweet Foragers Tarot. This was published by Rockpool and is by Sam Rook. This is an adorable and fun deck. It's also uh, a little bit smaller than other decks. So it's not a mini size though. I will show you a comparison. So it's kind of nice because you could actually do a, a very large spread. And if you have a smaller table, it's gonna work out very well. But this is quite adorable. So you can tell, okay. Let me just show you the green inside, wonderful. And then we have this little guidebook here. Very cute, full color with pictures, you know. We have a spread here. Anyway, very cute. Okay, let's get into the rest of this. These are the beautiful backs. Looks like I got one shipped here. Let me show you that. Check out this. Check out that. For a mass market little deck. Way to go, Rockpool. Very cool. So, show you some of the art on this. Oh, 
I love it. Just beautiful. This is so fun and it is Rider Waite Smith based, but you can see that we have some changes here. We have an artistic license taken, but it's still sticking with pretty much the definitions and bringing some freshness, uh, bringing some freshness to the tarot. Feels quite updated. Okay, so I'd like to show you a size comparison just so you have an idea. Let's go ahead and show you. Here is a normal size tarot uh, deck, radiant weight. And as you can see here, it is certainly shorter and a little bit um, less in width. So hopefully that's giving you a good peek into that deck. In spot number eight, we have the Empyrean Tarot by Threads of Fate. I picked up this deck as a Kickstarter, but Threads of Fate now sells it as well. I have a full flip through video of this deck if you're interested in it more, because I, like I said, I will be giving you a brief overview of it in this video. So I'll link that uh, in the description, as well as at the end of the video, I'll have a link to the playlist that this will be in. Now, this is a lenticular deck. Here are the backs. And here are the cards. It can be a little difficult on camera with lights to show you. But as you can see, obviously we have two images. So the images change. And you know, depending on where you're sitting can change the reading a bit. Okay, we have a reverse in there. Eight of Wands. Okay, Let's grab a couple here. So very cool, such a great concept. Got Neptune over there. Big chunky guidebook comes with this. Uh, as I mentioned, full flip through, we'll go into that more. It is a great guidebook. And I just got to show you the inside of this box because it's it's very beautiful when you open it up. Okay, da da da. Oh, actually, let me take out this card so you can get the full effect. Okay, beautiful. I love it. So that is the Empyrean Tarot. In spot number seven, we have the Moonchild Tarot, and this is the Shadow Work Edition. It is by Danielle Noel. So uh, the box, as you can tell, is quite beautiful. It has this very soft rose petal finish on the box, as well as the cards. Okay, look at this, look at this. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, look at the sparkly inside here. <laughs> Details on it are quite beautiful. Nice soft book, uh, beautiful write-ups, of course. Quite beautiful. Okay, backs of the cards. Uh, let me show you the inside. Seek the Unseen you a taste of what these look like. And uh, this cardstock is great. It is a very soft rose petal finish. Some do not prefer it. Others love rose petal finish. That's up to you. The, the cardstock is, you know, medium to thick, I'd say. Quite beautiful to work with. And I also have to show you that nine of cups 
this purple edging, purple subtly sparkly edging, uh, an edging that does not stick or flake that I've noticed anyway. That universe, I love that universe. Shadow work, as we are saying, shadow work edition of the original Moonchild Tarot. Another uh, great, this is definitely different than the original, Dark Bell. So quite a different mood, yet you can see the original deck in this as well, but very different mood, uh, changes in colors. We have a few cards that are, of course, just completely different than the other version. There's one in here I really love. I wonder if we'll come across it. Here we go. Look at the luck of that. Three of Cups with this cauldron. Love it. Just beautiful. Empress. Justice. Okay, so I think I've given you a good taste of this deck. In spot six, we have the Fortunate Frogs Tarot. Now, I love frogs, so this is definitely a deck that's up my alley. I understand if you don't like frogs for some reason, you know, maybe this isn't for you, but I personally love them. And uh, Devin here, who is the artist, has done a wonderful job illustrating this deck. So this is by Devin Short, AKA Wacky Doodle Devin. I backed this deck on Kickstarter and it was Devin's first campaign. And I have to say, I was very impressed and I was very happy with the results and the timing. So just wanna share this creator with you and their artwork is quite beautiful. Okay, check out this fool. It's just, this is so fun. I love the spirit and the creativity. I'd never seen a, a, a frog deck before either. So, I mean, but beyond that, look at this artwork. Look at this artwork. How happy does it make you to look at this? I mean, is it me? I feel very happy when I look at this deck. Just, <laughs> that's wonderful. So creative. Oh, absolutely adorable. Yeah, I, I think Devin did a great job on this. Uh, Devin is on Instagram. You can check them out there. Hopefully one day we'll get another Kickstarter but for now I'm quite satisfied with my frog tarot deck. There are also like shirts and some cool merch uh, with some of these images on it. I believe this deck is still for purchase too. So you can pick it up. Just, I love looking at it. The colors, the creativity, and Alice's, <laughs> the joy, it's, it's very joyful. So this just makes me happy. Ace of Shrooms. So we have some changes as well. We've got shrooms. Let me skip ahead over here. Lily pads, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, just so cute. I mean, how can you resist twigs, bugs? I, I don't think I heard a lot of buzz about this stack, but I was looking around on Kickstarter and saw it and just went, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely for me. I'm backing that 100%. And check out these backs. We've got leaping frogs around it. And it's a nice card stock. Well, I feel it's nice. Devin did a good job in listening to feedback and asking for feedback on card stock and, uh, you know, listen to people. It's it's pretty darn matte with a maybe super, super subtle sheen, but, but not really. So this is, this is great. I'm very happy with it. And I will show you as well. So we have the box, opens up like this, magnetic flip. 
here's the back and obviously the cards would be sitting in so it would look cute here but we have a little guidebook little guide booklet and contents kind of some general readings do 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 so uh, pretty much goes into the majors and then short write-ups for the minors so that is the fortunate frogs tarot and now on to our top five decks. We have Zeke's Arcana Tarot by Julia Rich. As you can see, we've got some beautiful details on the box. Okay, now let me show you. Oh, looks like someone put them away upside down. <laughs> Seeks Arcana. Little guidebook here. Short write ups, but this is not a full flip through, so just give me a quick glimpse. Check out the backs of these cards. Quite beautiful. Okay, and the cardstock is very nice. Check out this edging. Okay, so this gives you an idea of what you're about to get into. This is very different from other uh, decks, and I quite enjoy this artwork. You know, this is either going to be for you or you're not going to be into it, but I think it's great. We do have some Pippish style uh, cards in here. Usually, I do not pick up decks with pips, but the way these pips are done, see here's an example here, I, I think it was done quite beautifully. It's, it's more to tell than just a kind of a boring pip, and the artwork is just so gorgeous that, you know, I made an exception. You always have to make exceptions when, uh, when it's worth it, so this deck is just stunning. <laughs> This artwork is so different. I love it. Definitely sets a whole mood and a world. Check out this hermit. Yeah, I'm here for it. You know, some people won't be, but I am here for it. I think this is amazing. Okay, so hopefully that has given you a taste of Zeke's Arcana. Oops, pull this one out. Just, it feels like you're on a different planet. <laughs> Hilarious. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Zeke's Arcana. And coming down in spot number four, we have Tarot of the Owls by Pamela Chen and Elizabeth Alba. I have a full flip through of this deck, which will give you further details on the artist, the quality, um, guidebook, etc. So if you want to check that out, that will be linked in the description. And I will also link the playlist at the end of this video. So, uh, nice big box nice big deck this is a kit and we have a beautiful guidebook here just to quickly show you full color photos spreads but as mentioned you can see the full flip through later so here's the backs of the decks the cardstock is a little bit a little bit shiny but not much kind of a semi sheen it's not sticky at all which is great no edging uh, but check out this artwork I really really love Elizabeth Alpa's artwork there's another favorite deck of mine that she created you probably are familiar with it the everyday witch tarot it is a great tarot deck I actually would recommend that 
for beginners because it does stick with tradition, but I think you can read with it quite well. And the artwork is just stunning. I mean, I just love this artwork. I have on pre-order uh, Elizabeth's next deck, which is, I believe it's called Witch's Familiar Oracle. So I'm really excited to see that. I will film a full flip through of that, of course, because I will be excited and I love Elizabeth's work. So quite beautiful, featuring owls. Just gorgeous. Okay, so that is a taste of the tarot of the owls. What lies beneath this cloth is none other than the mystery deck for my upcoming giveaway. A true gem among tarot decks of 2023. I'll be filming a full flip through of this deck soon and in it I'll unveil the full details of the giveaway. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you don't want to miss out. Behold, the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. The Tarot of the Witch's Garden is by Sasha Graham and Natasha Ilintzink. It is a masterpiece with its intricate artwork, gorgeous guidebook, and linen cardstock. So I'm very excited that Llewellyn decided to do linen cardstock for this deck. But here is a quick glance at the guidebook. And as mentioned, I'm going to do a full flip through so you can get a better idea of it. But as you can see, large full pictures, big write-ups, and so on. And then we have the cards. Here are the backs with the cauldrons, uh, reversible. If you can probably see that linen texture. I'm so impressed uh, that we have linen on mass market. It makes me really happy. Here's some of the images to give you an idea of the artwork. Now the cop that I'm going to be giving away is brand new. This is my personal version that I'm showing you here. I love this style of artwork and it reads very well. The readings that I've done with this really uh, have been quite deep. So that's another reason I really love this deck. It frankly was more than I expected. I didn't realize quite how well this deck was going to read until I started using it. So I'd like for you all to experience that and hopefully get some profound readings with it. Okay, so I don't wanna show you them all, but that gives you a taste of the spirit and the artwork that is here. Look at that star. Whew. Beautiful. And in spot number two, we have the Silver Acorn Tarot. This is by Stephanie Buscema and Madame Pamita. I do have a full flip through available on my uh, channel. I'll link the playlist. Also, we'll put it in the description. I love this deck. It is just so fun and imaginative. Uh, like I said, full flip through, so I won't get too far into that but this is a limited edition deck by that you can see. 
and let me show you some of these cards. Check out that cute inside. <laughs> Just adorable. Okay, this is an indie deck, if I didn't mention it. Here are the backs, and this is linen cardstock. I wanna point out that these are a little bit longer, so a little bit larger than a standard size. So a little bit longer there, which is actually nice because with this artwork, I really wanna see it. It's just, it's such great artwork. So let's give you some more, let's give you more taste of it. That's the card I pulled in the flip through. Yeah, I love this card stock as well, this linen. Um, obviously I'm a fan of linen card stock. So imaginative, yet, you know, easy to read with. I, I think it's easy to read with. We have the signs in here. So we have Venus and Virgo, which is a really nice detail that you'll see throughout this deck. Not in every card, but where they apply, you have the deacons. So adorable. I love this mood. This little cheeky vibe here. Isn't that fun? Okay, so that is our spot number two. I hope you're getting excited for number one. Gorgeous deck, great job that they did. And in first place we have the Spirit Keeper's Tarot. This is the Revelation Edition and it is by Benabel Wen. This is the second printing of the Revelation Edition. A lot of people were waiting for another printing of the stack because it was limited edition and hard to get your hands on and sold out. Uh, so this is that edition. It is still currently available, but it is a limited edition deck. So if you'd like it, you know, I'd pick it up soon before it's sold out again. Not to create FOMO, but just saying. <laughs> I was in the boat where it was sold out when I wanted it, so swooped it up when it came up. Uh, beautiful box, very detailed. Check that out. Okay. It does come with a little guidebook here that's printed inside, but I have to show you what else comes with it. It comes with a 700 page hyperlinked and bookmarked PDF called The Book of Maps. The book provides insight into what the creator was thinking when she created each card and it's full of esoteric information. As you can see here, all kinds of very valuable, well-researched information on the various systems that are incorporated into the stack. It's, it's truly impressive, absolutely amazing. So as you can see here, I paid to have the PDF printed. And for an additional cost, you can have it printed. Benabel provides a third party print on demand site, uh, which she does provide a link to. It also includes a tarot workbook called Book of Readings. It's in the form of a digital file and that is an introduction into various esoteric systems and traditions that link into the tarot. So now let's take a look at these cards. Here are the backs. Here is the gilding and it feels like a very high quality gilding. It doesn't stick together. It doesn't seem to flake. I mean, I would still be careful um, with how you shuffle it, but I think it's gonna hold up quite well. And it's a beautiful shade of gold here but to get into these cards, look at the detail. 
in these illustrations. The depth of symbolism is just amazing. And if you don't know what some of the symbolism means, there is, of course, uh, that large, beautiful book that comes with it, you know, the PDF. Um, there's quite a lot to be learned here. Each card just has so much depth to it. You can really get a lot from it. many systems here all in one deck the level of knowledge and research that went into this is truly impressive uh, if you're not familiar with Benabel Wynn I would recommend looking her up uh, she has some amazing books. She has a YouTube channel. It would be really hard for me to sum her up. She is just an amazing human. I cannot believe uh, she, she drew all of these along with the all the other things that she does. Absolutely amazing. And the cardstock is beautiful. I really enjoy it. It's matte, uh, has a, a soft finish to it. It feels like a medium thickness, just, just about right, just right to me where there's still some flexibility, but it, it feels strong. You know, it's gonna hold up. And as you can see here, it's not just the, the majors that get this kind of deeply symbolic imagery. It's, it's all of them. So I had to give this number one spot because this is a prolific deck. Okay, I think you have an idea of what this deck is all about. So, which tarot decks from 2023 do you think deserve a spot on my top 10 list? Share your thoughts below. Thank you for joining me on a journey through my top 10 tarot decks of 2023. Before we conclude, if you're eager to dive deeper into any of these decks, be sure to explore the in-depth reviews available in the playlist linked on the screen right now. And remember, don't miss out on your chance to win the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Simply do three things. Like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel to secure your entry. Your support is the heartbeat of this channel. Thank you for watching.